Today on Unity Motorsports Garage, we're going to talk about motor oil. It does more than you think. Stay tuned. A couple weeks ago, Lake Speed Jr. came down to have a live chat with David Vizard and myself. Yes, that Lake Speed Jr., the motor oil geek. And it was really cool um, to get to talk to him about the intricate details of motor oil and the science involved in it and his experience in the industry. But it got me thinking, ever since then, there's not really a video on YouTube talking about what motor oil actually does. Motor oils have changed dramatically over the years and I would say even more so in the past 20 years. Things have really escalated up because there's more demand from these high-tech engines that's being produced today and your oil could make or break your situation with your vehicle. So I know it sounds basic, but let's get into the details of why all of this matters and it does more than you think. First and foremost, and this may seem very elementary, but motor oil lubricates. It protects the bearings inside the engine, keeps a hydraulic oil wedge in there so that metal parts do not touch each other while the engine's actually running. Pretty elementary, right? And in an ideal situation, you never want to have metal to metal contact in your engine bearings and certain other items in your engine. So that's number one. Number two, I would say is something that probably gets overlooked by the average enthusiast. And that is motor oil is actually a coolant. As oil passes through the bearings, it actually removes temperature from the metal itself, and that is very important. Oil can control valve train temperature, valve springs from premature wear by keeping the parts cool. Heat is a tremendous detriment to valve springs, and I've got an interesting story at the ending of this talking about Oil is a coolant. So number three on the list is actually protection. Protection from what, you might ask? Well, that is blow-by gases generated. Gases get past the piston ring, and it causes corrosion in the crankcase, which is not a good thing. What the motor oil actually does is encapsulates these gases and absorbs it and surrounds it so that you actually have clean motor oil to pass through the rest of the engine. Interesting fact, that is the reason why your engine oil turns black with age. It's because it's trapping those particles in the oil and keeping it from doing harmful damage to your engine. Number four is loosely connected to number three in my opinion. Now, I'm not a tribologist or anything of that sort, so don't get that misconstrued. I just happen to know something about something because I've seen something, if that makes sense. But anyways, next on the list is number four, cleaning. Motor oil helps, has a detergent package in the oil to keep varnish and sludge from collecting inside your engine. And so it actually has detergents that's supposed to clean these deposits away and once again, encapsulate it in the oil, giving you protection. Now we're moving to number five. Five is something that is relatively new, I would say in the past 20, 20 years or so in automotive engines. Motor oil is actually being used as a hydraulic fluid. Yes, you heard that right. It is a hydraulic fluid. There are very complicated systems in modern engines such as variable cam timing, uh, variable displacement or displacement on demand. And those systems operate off of oil pressure, which means they're using the motor oil as a hydraulic oil to control these systems that are 
sometimes problematic and we're going to get into why they're problematic and what you can do about it so remember in modern engines it's also a hydraulic oil To wrap this video up, in conclusion, let's talk about some of the things that I did cover. Lubrication, yes, it's very important, and with synthetics out there, that has gotten much better, of course. Let's talk about that cooling aspect, because I told you I had a story about it. Um, years ago, when I had my shop, I had a fellow come in It was into road racing and he had a 4.6 modular V8 double overhead cam. It was a 97 Cobra. This engine constantly ate main bearings and no one could figure out what the issue was. Well, so I took it upon myself to call Clevite because David had a contact and after much discussion, he was running factory bearing clearances and basically the oil was getting extremely hot the viscosity was breaking down and then metal to metal contact and it would wipe the bearing out simple solution i opened up the bearing clearances so the oil could pass through the bearing and the oil wouldn't get too hot and too and break down and therefore he never had an issue with it again another thing that i really want to touch on in this video is oil change intervals i know that manufacturers have constantly been extending this mileage further and further past the traditional 3000 mile uh, interval but now we have vehicles that are supposedly good to 10,000 miles my issue with that and this is my conclusion with very intricate engines such as uh, the EcoBoost here and my new Coyote with variable cam timing and variable displacement the manufacturer does not know what condition I'm going to be driving the vehicle for those 10,000 miles if I'm making short mileage trips to the grocery store and back and the oil temperature never gets up to operating to where the contaminants can actually boil off from the oil because that is something that can happen you want oil temperature to get above 220 degrees in that range so that the contaminants can boil off of it and it gets sucked into the pcv system and then the oil life is prolonged when you do those short bursts what ends up happening is sludge can develop especially in cold temperatures because those contaminants are not being rid of the crankcase causing new problems and so when you have those intricate systems that i mentioned that wreaks havoc because the passages in those uh, cam phasers and so on and so forth are very small and at least a little bit of uh, corrosion crud sludge whatever you want to call it can wreak havoc on it and if you talk to most dealer mechanics they will tell you that it all comes down to maintenance 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 even though the oe may recommend 10,000 miles stick to at least 5,000 miles with a good premium oil that meets the api requirement it'll be right on the back of the bottle here i don't know if you can see it but it's right there make sure that it meets the manufacturer demand because with these direct injected engines uh, low speed pre-ignition is a real thing you also want to run the right viscosity that the manufacturer recommends because like i said these engines use the oil as a hydraulic uh, type oil you do not want to go too thick or too thin and because you can actually cause harm or get degraded performance so i hope you learned something from this video um like i said this was just the very basics i hope that i can have lake speed jr back on the show maybe do a more intricate video on his procedures of 
picking motor oil and get his thoughts and inputs on it. And if you haven't checked out the Motor Oil Geek, I highly suggest that you do. Go give him a sub and tell him that you are from Unity Motorsports Garage. And go back and watch that live chat. I'll put a link to it up here in the corner. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps this video up. And so until next time, this is Andy from Unity Motorsports Garage. I will catch you later. Let's make some horsepower.